Test development processes include test analysis, test design, and test implementation. These processes are used to create and implement the tests needed to be executed to meet the test objectives. Let us take a closer look at what activities are carried out in each phase of test development process. Test analysis involves defining the test approach, identifying the right test techniques to be used to develop the test cases. These tasks should be conducted keeping in mind the test objectives and the risk associated in testing. Once we define test conditions, we should be able to link them back to their sources in the test basis and this is called traceability. We also need to come up with test approach which best suits our testable items. We also need to identify test techniques in order to select the test data combination that we can test. However effective the test technique is, there is always a risk associated when few test cases or test combination are not tested. One needs to be aware of the risk associated in eliminating those test condition or test case. Test design involves creation of test cases and test data. Test conditions on their own can be rather vague, covering quite a large range of possibilities. As mentioned earlier, test conditions just mention what to test. These do not include how to test. However, test cases are more specific as we need detailed specific inputs and detailed expected results. Test cases define how to test will be executed and therefore how to test condition will be tested. Note that one test case can be used to execute a number of test conditions. Test cases can be documented as described in the IEEE 829 standard. This standard is a good starting point for learning how to document test cases. This standard contains test case specification identifier, test items, input specifications, output specifications, environmental needs, special procedure requirements, and inter-case dependencies. One of the most important aspects of a test is that it assesses that the system does what it is supposed to do. In order to know what the system should do, we need to have a source of information about the correct behavior of the system. This source is often called an oracle or test oracle. This has nothing to do with databases or companies that make them. It comes from the ancient Greek oracle at Delphi who supposedly could predict the future with unerring accuracy. Test implementation is about defining test procedures, which is to group the test cases in a sensible way for executing them, and to specify the sequential steps that need to be done to run the test. Some test cases may need to be run in a particular sequence. Writing the test procedure is another opportunity to prioritize the tests. To ensure that the best testing is done in the time available, a good rule of thumb is to find the scary stuff first. However, the definition of what is scary depends on the business, system or project. Test implementation also involves preparing test execution schedule, which define what tests are to be carried out at what point of time.